How did the movie business start? That was, uh, like I said, I was running around trying to be an extra, right? And then I don't go to work. I'm working with this one kid, and he calls me up and said, hey, Danny, there's a lot of blow down here on my set. 1985, cocaine was crazy, okay? Cocaine was everywhere. I remember, I remember one night, late night TV, Sammy Davis Jr. and, and, uh, and Johnny Carson were talking, and, and Johnny goes, what's this? On TV, Sammy Davis, that's my Coke spoon. And he goes, oh, you, yeah, blah, blah, blah. And they started talking about cocaine. Yeah. It was on national TV. I went, damn. And then, so I go down. This kid says, can you, can you come down here? That's what we do. We hang out with people that want to stay clean. Yeah. And, and it's funny because he says, I think I'm going to use. I've been out of the joint from 1969 to 1985. Nobody ever called me and said, I think I'm going to use. Everybody always called me loaded. Yeah. <laughs> or, yeah. or from a bar. <laughs> yeah. You know, and so this guy says, yeah, yeah, come on over. He says, I can't. I got, I got this job. I go down to this job. His job was a, was a movie set of a movie called Runaway Train. John Voight and Eric Roberts. I walked onto that movie set. That was the cutest thing I'd ever seen in my life. Because all these guys were dressed like, they were just like convicts, right? And but they're all walking around going, "Hey, fucker, watch out, puto, hey!" And prison is the most polite place you'll ever be, uh-huh. because if I'm a murderer and you're a murderer, you're the last guy I want to offend. <laughs> you're, I'm coming, you're just like, yeah, I get excuse it. me, oh, sorry, yeah? bro. You know, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It's like you've got a certain a certain look that you got to look and look away, or oh, too sense. long. There's a there's yeah. a whole a whole repertoire of things you have to do. But I'm watching this guy, one guy comes, hey, home, does this look tough? I go, yeah, you'd be somebody's wife in prison. And all their tattoos smeared. I couldn't believe it. This guy looks at me and says, hey, do you want to be in this movie? And I said, what do I got to do? He said, do you want to be an extra? I said, extra what? He says, can you act like a convict? And when he said that, I almost laughed. I said, I'll give it a shot. <laughs> and I take off my shirt because uh, they give me a blue shirt. And this guy sees that tattoo and he goes, wait. And I'm trying to think, what stupid gang sign is that? You know I mean? and, and he said, leave your shirt off. So I'm standing there. This other guy comes, an older guy. Hey, you're Danny Trejo. I go, Yeah. Daddy, I saw you in the lightweight and Walter Wade title up in Quinn. I said, you're Eddie Bunker. I know this guy. This guy got famous writing writs in prison because writs have to be grammatically correct. They have to be written in the language of the court or they just kick them out. And anybody that goes to prison, if you've got an attorney, look at your transcript. You got two or three writs where they, where they screwed up and, um, uh, so Eddie would charge him like a hundred bucks to read it and then point out where they got writs and then charge them according to what the writ was. So he made a lot of money in the joint. And me and Eddie, we started talking. He says, Hey, are you still boxing? I go, no, man, I don't get hit in the face no more. I'm 41 years old. Yeah. He says, we need somebody to train one of the actors how to box. Now they're going to give me 50 bucks for acting like a convict. So I says, what's it pay? And he says, three twenty a day. I says, how bad you want this guy beat up? Oh, I, that's a hit. I, mean, you know, I wasn't making, I wasn't making three twenty a week. I said, shit. That's a, well, how much? How bad you want this guy? Beat? No, 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 no. You got to be careful, Danny. Mm. Actor's real high strung. He might sock you. I said, Eddie, for for three twenty a day, give him a stick, homie. <laughs> I've been beat up for free. Yeah. I started training an actor named Eric Roberts how to box for the movie Runaway Train, mm. and Eric respected me, you know what I mean? And uh, Eddie had told him, you know, he's a good lightweight, welterweight champion of Quentin, bad, blah, blah. So Eric respected me quite a bit and would do whatever I told him to do. Mm-hmm. And Andre Kajalowski, the director, you, you got to remember, Eric was a movie star at that time, big movie star. And movie stars are dicks, okay? They've, they got just, they're just dicks. And, uh, and so it was, Andre had a hard time communicating with Eric. And then uh, 
he saw that I would, he would do whatever I told him to do. Mm -hmm. So I'll never forget, he came over and Andre, real soft spoken, he goes, Danny, you be in movie and you fight Eric in movie and you be my friend. Now, prison backgrounds, you don't like hear people saying, you be my friend, because you know, there's a lot of things can go wrong there. Mm -hmm. And so, and then he leans over and he kisses me on, kisses me on one cheek, kisses me on the other cheek, and walks away. Mm -hmm. And I told Eddie, look, Eddie, I'm going to train the kid for 320, but if I'm going to be kissing that old man, I want more money. And Eddie, <laughs> no, no, he's European. He, I never, I didn't. You know, okay, why are we kissing? And uh, and I found out that's yeah what Europeans do. They kiss, you know. So yeah. I like it. And <laughs> but you know, I that was where I got a SAG card. I got I got all the all the things that an actor gets. Uh -huh. And from there, the first five years of my career, Tony, I, I played inmate number one, inmate number one, bad guy. Tattooed dude, you know, that's, I never had a name. First name I got was Art Sanella in Death Wish 4. I played an Italian. I didn't get to play Mexican. <laughs> <laughs>